Hello, you do. Hi. We're going to New Orleans today. Charlotte, what are we doing? We're going to take a bus tour throughout the city. Hop on, hop off. Come join us. Our first impression of New Orleans was pretty impressive, with murals or other architectural and structural items to see almost everywhere you look. This was our first trip ever into the Big Easy, and it did not disappoint yet. I have seen that somewhere. Have you? Yeah, in a video or something. I think this is Cafe. Yeah, this is awesome. There's the line. Get in. Wow, yeah. Look at all the powdered sugar around. <laughs> People, people everywhere. Chaos and commotion was rampant. At this point, we were just one part looking around to see all the activity in the historic places that we have seen on television for many years, and one part lost. We made the reservations online for the Hop On Hop Off open air bus tour, but we failed to map out the location to exchange our reservations for the actual tickets. Oh, a little toy shop! I gotta go there for Liam! Jackson Square, I'm saying, yeah. So, all I'm saying is our bus, tour bus, should be around here somewhere. Got to find where we're supposed to be. I've seen this so many times on TV. It's so cool, I love Different it. shows, like the street magic shows I've seen on there. I've seen it. Uh, just different documentaries about their stuff. Starts here. That's the walking tour. We waited at a makeshift bus stop for a short 5-10 to 10 minutes before boarding the bus. The top of the bus fills up first and so we had to start out in the bottom portion of the bus. They don't turn on the air conditioning because, quote, the air conditioner is loud. It appeared at first that the Hop On Hop Off bus tour is gracious enough to hire retired NASCAR drivers to drive their buses. You have to pay close attention or the points of interest will pass you by like an elderly person's youth. We jumped on the chance to go to the top level both for a better view and so we could get a cool breeze. Being up top, however, poses a different problem because at high speed it is very hard to record good audio in open air. At this point, we were also being thrown around as thoughts of survival were consuming us instead of even thinking of the sights. This is the closest view of the French Quarter that you get during the tour. This was completely my fault for not doing more research about this tour and their destinations online before committing. I was personally wanting to get more accustomed to what was in the immediate area and what high points to visit in the French Quarter and less about the warehouses in the city and such. The last critique is that they need to improve the audio of the tour. This is simply a case of wind noise drowning out their voices in person, not just for this recording. Get louder or more speakers. Ideally, for the price, they could even do the audio like the Sabino Canyon tour. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
<laughs> yeah. You're blocking the wrong part of the road. <laughs> yeah, we are. Lots of restrictions. We're going to come up on Basin Street Station now. We're going to take a short break. You can get tours in these two. That's right. Yeah. Good yeah. afternoon. May or may not have changed. Once we had a shift change, the new driver, the new tour guide, did a better job. The speed went to a reasonable speed, and the volume of the tour was then loud enough because the speed dropped or he turned up the volume. Either way, it was an improvement on the beginning part of the bus ride. Huh? And, uh, they went ahead and they shut down our red light. Oh, that's cool. We had a red light. They renovated it. This is Canal Street. This is all very appealing architecture pleasing to the eye. I was certainly not expecting to see all the palm trees. The sightseeing bus closes at 5.30 p.m. so you have to make sure you are on the bus no later than 4 p.m. if you need to go to or back to a certain point before the end of the day. Look at the roof. Hmm? Look at the roof. I know. That's pretty neat. That's very cool. Katrina damage repair in 2013. This is one of 24 cancer survivor parks in cities across the U.S. and Canada. Called a pocket park, it includes monolithic columns, an arch, palm trees, shrubs, seasonal flowers, benches, and the newly refurbished fountain.
fault of the tour company. When we turned the corner to make the next hop on hop off stop, we found that a parade had broken out. It did start to feel as though the buses should have an alternate route for such occasions since New Orleans has a rule that anyone who pays $2,000 can have a police escort and parade at any time for any reason. We waited for over 20 minutes bringing up the rear of a celebration we were not part of until we went the three to four blocks and made the regular route turn onto St. Charles. At least it was no longer over 100 degrees in the area. most certainly want to keep your arms inside the bus as you are close enough to be hit by signs, guy wires, trees, and the like. I know for a fact they can't be reached because at one point during the ride I saw a passenger be hit by a tree while they were reaching outside the bus. And no, it wasn't Charlotte. a bustling shopping mall today. Um, it, it stood largely vacant for about a decade after Hurricane Katrina though. So 10 years after Hurricane Katrina, they had a lot of difficulty getting businesses to come back to this area. I feel like this would be a great place to house an architecture and engineering school and a very neat place if crime was not an issue. Out of the 850 plus buildings that are in the modern day French Quarter today, uh, technically only three of those buildings are actually French. And that everything else you see was all built by the Spanish. Mm -hmm. The conclusion of the tour is just a slow roll back to the ticket booth and stop number one. This is where we started and finished. We finished the hop on hop off, we grabbed some very unremarkable overpriced food and then shopped for a couple souvenirs including the magnet on the thumbnail to this video and at last the obligatory stop at Cafe Beignets for some dessert to go. So what'd you think? I hop on hop off. Oh, the hop on hop off was okay. It was nice just to get acquainted with New Orleans, but yeah, it was. But I think there's a better ways to do that. Mm -hmm. I do because we've been on other ones, and I think being on those other yeah. ones has influenced us. Saint Augustine. Yeah. We were Key on Key West. And Key West, we were on the hop on hop yeah. off tours. Um, this place, I mean, the French Quarter is cool. That's, yeah, it's very cool. But they take you all the way out in different places, and it's just Well, then you bizarre. go through five different areas, which that, I knew about beforehand. Yeah. Let me pause just a second. Show the world. <laughs> Luna's whining because she sees... She an, sees an armadillo. armadillo. <laughs> Over there, and she's about she's to pull about, my arm off. She's, trying to get to it. She wants that armadillo yeah, bad. She wants it to play with her. Yeah, we're back to the campground. Yep. That's came, where we're at. Yeah, I came back and let the dogs out and everything. Yeah. So. But I mean, for the price of that hop on. Forty-six dollars. 
We each. stop 19 each places. Each person. 19 stops. Right? But it's yeah, that it's, much money per person. Right. But they're not stops like of interest. Yeah, that's um, just it. You know, Not you, every one of them is. There's a few that it's are. It's a hop on, hop off, but everybody just rode and looked at the sights <laughs> and listened to the tour guide. Right. But, and then the first, what? Five minutes was Speedy Gonzalez behind. Holy the cow! That was and funny. I don't, I don't like people being. No, we're on a double careless. decker bus, and mm -hmm. that was cool. Yeah, she was careless with us and all of her passengers. Um, you she shouldn't. Was a little quick. Shouldn't act like that. On the gas pedal. Right. They were changing shifts or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it was. I think yeah. she was late going home. And yeah. Was not about to let that happen. So. Mm -hmm. So. So we were thinking when we purchased it that, you know, we'll stop at each area and they'll yeah. tell us some history about it because we want to know some more history about New Orleans and that's why why we took it. Um, right. Yeah, so... The first time in New Orleans, I mean, I thought it'd be a good way to learn the city. Right. Learn the French Quarter in particular, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that's that's not what they do. They, they yeah. pick you up in the French Quarter and they take you around town show you the bank buildings and that kind of stuff and the mm -hmm. hotels and yeah I don't know, that's just it was not kind of me. hard to hear they were nice people it was very people, hard to hear because they didn't have their speakers turned out so um and, and so i also think if you're using that bus for going from point a to point b um it's it's an okay thing, but it's too high priced for just that. Yeah, forty six dollars. Um, they need to, they need to add more value. I mean, I just there there's a hundred other options. Maybe look yeah. at something else. It's okay thing to do. Right. Um, but I just I would recommend going with a different company. Yeah, they they do have options where you can add on walking tours. Um, you can add on a few days. For more money. And yeah, it, it, there's several different options. Just check out their website. Yep. Um, and I can't even rem <laughs> remember the name of the website, so I might have to get back on to do that. I'll put it right here. Yeah. So, anyway, the rest of New Orleans was really kind of cool. Yeah, I really and we'll enjoyed be going it. Back. Yeah. So, I know watch for that. And we're going to go before the dogs rip through yeah. these uh, leashes and go get that armadillo. So yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching and stay tuned. We're going to be doing some more of actual or other places in New Orleans, not just a tour around it. Yep. We'll see you then. See you next week.